Hello everyone and welcome. This is my review of the book Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Now, this book kind of stumbled into my lap. I didn't buy it. It was kind of uh, just my mom was like, she works. I don't know where she got this from. She was like, here, take it. So I was like, what the what the hell is this? <laughs> so I read the the uh, description on the back and I was intrigued. Why? It's based on a video game, kind of, kind of. So the main character Wade Watts uh, lives in the year 2044. He is a nobody. He is uh, just a scrub, I guess. Whatever. He lives in like some waste kind of. I don't want to say ghetto, but in this dystopian society. Trailer parks are literally stacked, like trailer RVs are stacked upon one another, as you can kind of see in this picture, right? That's that's to get a sense of who Wade Watts is. So, the gist and long and short of it is, there is this virtual world called the Oasis that was created by a programmer, um, and it was made for anyone to access, kind of like the internet, but you instead of on a screen you kind of put on this like rig suit thing and you sit in place but and then you're like you're in the oasis it's like virtual reality the difference from this and the matrix is you can leave and go as you please but the world has the world itself the real world has gotten so bad that most people opt to opt to live vicariously in the oasis because the world sucks and the thing is Although it's accessible for free, you still your your real wealth will to help determine your character in the Oasis because you can buy things. <laughs> it got so big, in fact, that there's a um, it has its own economy, and the the digital currency is weighed against the real currency. It it actually has value in real life, kind of like the Bitcoin thing. So. What is the premise of like the story? Well, the creator of the Oasis passes away and uh, leaves a last will and testament video kind of for all people on the Oasis to find an Easter egg. And the winner will get all of his fortune, which he is a billionaire, and they will become the controller of the Oasis, almost like the god, the admin, whatever. So. But this is so intricately designed and so so obscure that it took it take it took five years. There's three clues or whatever, and it took five years or so for anyone to even find the first clue. It became a myth to the point of this Easter egg became a myth. So what's the the whole thing? Well, really, that's the hit, the the book is about this character Wade Watts trying to find this Easter egg, and as he finds something as he finds things more and more people keep catching on and catching up to him and there's a corrupt organization in this oasis that is using its pooled resources and hiring an army essentially to kind of get in his way and try to take over the oasis for themselves so they can make a profit um now it seems that the like you know describing it seems like oh it's only in virtual reality but the implications of that organization access, get, taking control of the oasis would mean a corporation that's controlling something that was once free for people so they'll start charging people uh it'll be even more diverse like more disparity like income it's a lot of implications and i don't want to get into it right now why is this book so interesting well it takes place in the future, but the main character loved the 80s. He grew up in the 80s, and like, so like, this whole Easter egg hunt is based on 80s references, 80s themes, 80s songs, 80s movies, 80s video games, uh, all that stuff. So, all the challenges, all the things, all the references in the books are on 80s stuff, 80s, 80s pop culture. So for me, it was like a nice nostalgia rush. Is it the deepest of stories? No, but it kept me going. Reading it kept me going. It was written in the first person. Written in the first person. Uh, the characters are pretty interesting. And um, it, they all kind of tie in together nicely. So 
I wouldn't say it's like the greatest book ever. I wouldn't compare it to Harry Potter, although this this tries to. Uh, the Grown Ups Harry Potter. Uh, but I will say it is a good read. It's fun. And uh, I, I, I burned through it really quickly just because, uh, it, especially if you're from, like, I was born in the late 80s, so I didn't live through these, but I can appreciate them still, like all the references and things like that. So on that note, give it a read. Pretty good plot, pretty good character development. Um, gets to the point, pretty fast paced. I, I never felt it slowing down much at all. So on that note, check it out. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. And yeah, if you like this video, please like it. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And please recommend some books for me to read so I can review them for you guys. Alright, take care and have a great day.